Good morning, I am here to release the word of the Lord, the sound of the shofar, the dance, the flags, the hallelujahs. We worship Jesus. We worship the Lord. We worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. I am looking at a passage in the Bible that talks about the Holy Spirit. Do you know him? Do you know him? Is the question the Lord asks. Do you know him? It is the words of Jesus himself who said, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Witnesses to the fact that Yahshua came to us from heaven, dwells among us, and went, ascended into heaven, giving us Holy Spirit, comfort, guidance, joy, and the conviction of the Holy Spirit. If I ask you, have you been filled with the Holy Spirit? Can you say an absolute yes? If I ask you, do you know the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Can you say with an absolute yes, that yes, I have? If not, seek him. Seek first. It's, it's a question that is asked in Acts, that do you know the Holy Spirit? Do you know him? And if you can't answer with an absolute yes, then your life is missing the very powerful manifestation of Yeshua. He came that you might have life, that you might have it more abundantly. To believe in the power of God comes only by Holy Spirit. Do not tempt ministry without the Holy Spirit. Seek and receive the baptism of Holy Spirit. Continually be filled with the Spirit to regularly renew your life and ministry. Exercise your prayer language as part of the Spirit's flow in your life. <coughs> The lightness of the Holy Spirit, the freedom, the joy, the peace that comes and passes all understanding. I expect a spirit-filled relationship with Jesus who helps me speak boldly with courage and spiritual understanding. Hallelujah. Hey, my brother. Hear the sound of the shofar. What is that? Did you ever hear one of these? It's called a ram's horn. Ram's horn? Yeah. Where did you find that? I uh, bought it at Mosiah College. Oh. You want to listen? That's right, we are the good sheep, we are the sheep of the good shepherd. He has our attention. <laughs> you like that sound? Different, yeah. It has a, it has a good sound to it. I, yeah. I like it. Yeah. The angels hear that and they come and minister. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible talks a lot about the shofar. It's the sound of Yeshua, Jesus, the coming king. And I go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
and the uh, old, and the Old Testament days. American flag and I bless the United States of America for the blood of Jesus, the resurrection power of Christ. He will have his way in our nation. We trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. We trust in the Lord. We don't lean on our own understanding. Hallelujah. The Lord is the only person that you can trust in anymore. That's right. Yes. And I take the Bible and I read it and I have peace and I know that His will will be done in America. It's, uh, it's not about a political move right now. It's about the Spirit calling people to repentance, to surrender. Wait for surrender to the Lord, His glory. I like that flag, that glory. The glory of the Lord is on America. We look at the flag and see that Oh, glory. Hallelujah. We bless all the veterans, all those who served in the armed forces. We bless them with peace and health and strength, fullness of life to the end of their days, including Marty, full of life. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, come. You rule and reign. Hallelujah. This is my neighbor, Marty. He is joining me in the testimony that the Lord is the only one we can trust in. We worship. Hallelujah. We sing praises in the name of the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Oh, It's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords who reigns. Hallelujah. He is Lord over all. Even the dead shall rise at the call, trumpet sound of the Lord. They shall rise in the last days and enter into eternal glory. I trust in the word of the Lord. I trust in the Lord. I believe. I believe with all my heart, soul, and body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See that royalty of God in the air. Hallelujah. This is a beautiful view up here. Have a great day. Thanks, Marty. Yeah. I guess Jason's family will soon be moving away. Eh? They'll be moving very soon. Uh, I don't know if we're ready for that. What's that? I don't know if we're ready for them to be gone. I've known them since youngsters. Yeah. Yeah, they Oh, it sure would. Yeah. Do they have the house sold now? Yeah. But they never post it sold on the sign. I know. I, I didn't know why, but I guess they wanted to make sure. I hope we get new neighbors just as good as they. I know. I know. They're... We'll see. I think they'll be good, but... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you too, Marty. So, and the, the Holy Spirit spoke rightly through Isaiah, the prophet, to our fathers. Go to this people and say, Hearing you will hear and shall not understand, and seeing you will see and not perceive. For the hearts of this people have grown dull, their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes have closed, lest they shall see with their eyes and hear with their ears, lest they shall understand with their hearts in turn, so that I shall heal them. In Acts 28, there, verse 28, Therefore let it be known to you that the salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles, and they will hear it.
So here we have Paul preaching the kingdom of God and teaching things that concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence, no one forbidding him. My confidence is in Yahshua. The Father speaks the word, Yahshua the Son does the word, Holy Spirit manifests the word. We talk about a day coming when the Antichrist shall come into the earth. Well, the Antichrist is, has been around and is here, and he performs his functions within different avenues. He's a spiritual being, and he will use whatever avenue he can to become, to overpower our ability to see and to hear. So if our mind, will, and emotions is exalted through whatever means, and that, that it becomes more powerful than our spirit, Satan will use that as the antichrist in us. Intellectualism in our day, we live in a, a world of knowledge, and we are in a battle. A, the great warfare now is in knowledge, the area of knowledge. And we're talking about, we're hearing, saying it's all about science. And we're, we're forgetting about the law of God given to us. We're forgetting about the truth spoken to us. We're forgetting about the way through the Holy Spirit. Into, through Jesus Christ, we enter into the kingdom of heaven. I had a dream. Listen, I dream things about, about heavenly things. And I know it's a real world. I know that these dreams are not my own. or not something of a, a, a biological function of the mind or a psychological function. But it's a spiritual revelation that the kingdom of heaven is near. Me, Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is near you. So today, walking in that kingdom of heaven is where I submit to Christ. He is my spiritual father. He is my spiritual uh, guide and revelation. He is the one who has the word of the Father in him. He is the one who knows the, the way, the truth, and he is life. And believing in Jesus Christ is a uh, an absolute necessity for each man woman and child will you believe today in Jesus Christ will you accept him into your heart say Lord Jesus come into my heart take control I renounce sin and Satan I come to you father in repenting of my sinful ways I come to you father repenting that I have walked in fear and doubt I come to you father acknowledging that you alone hold the keys to life and I come to you Jesus and I submit to you and ask your will to be done in me. Holy Spirit, come and fill me, baptize me with your Holy Spirit. Loose my tongue to speak the language of the Spirit. I submit to you, Father. I bow before your ways. I give, become and request it to be baptized in water, to be immersed in water, to rise again a new creature in Christ. All things, behold, all things have become new. Behold, I walk into this new way of life, this new way of thinking mind of Christ come into my mind heart of God come into my heart fill me with your love for all mankind I wouldn't say this if I didn't love you I wouldn't be here today I wouldn't stop doing what I what I have to do at home if it wouldn't be that I love you I want you to receive the love of the Father I want you to know that he knows you by name that he's called you by name and that his love is upon you I want you to know that receiving him is an act of appropriating his grace into your life say i receive your your grace lord jesus i receive your grace lord jesus i receive your grace come mercy of god on me today come fill me with your spiritual gifts and your power mercy of god come and anoint me with healing come and anoint me with the the charge of angels around me to perform the acts of god in the earth Can, to call heaven's kingdom into the earth. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in the heavenlies. Whatever is loosed on earth is, is, is loosed in the heavenlies. Understand that we walk in authority. There's the earth, there's the first and second heavens. Seven. God is higher in the heavenlies than Satan and his principalities. But we need to take authority over that realm of Satan. Bind the things that are spiritual. Work a work of deliverance in each person today, Lord. In my heart, I cast out the spirit of fear, and doubt. I cast out the spirit of greed, lust, perversion, anger. I cast out the spirit of wrath and and judgment and 
and racism. I cast out the spirit of preferring one above another. I cast out the spirit of, of, of just uh, uh, lusting after things of the flesh in Jesus' name. Pride be gone in the name of Jesus. I cut you off with the sword of the Spirit. Deliverance has come in the mighty name of Jesus. Be delivered today. The finger of God has come to cast out the devils. Hell, and it was prepared for Satan and his angels. We send those demons to hell now in the name of Jesus. We cut you off of this life where mankind walks. We, do, we say to each person who is hearing this, be delivered today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I say the house be cleaned and filled with the Holy Spirit she gifts. You know, there are nine gifts of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, goodness, kindness, patience, uh, forbearance, and gentleness, and self-control. And there's the, the, the gifts of the Spirit, the, the, the teacher, the, the pastor, the evangelist, then the prophet, and the apostle. Come and be filled with these things. Come now and be filled with these things. Even so, come quickly, Lord Jesus, unto all those who are hearing in, in the in the sound of my voice today come quickly Lord Jesus you said that we have about a few days a few hours well it is light we have a short time when darkness will just sweep over the earth and and, and deep darkness will cover all mankind and and you will not be able to call upon the Lord today is a day of salvation today is a day you need to uh, humble yourself and come before God come before God the Father Come, look, here it is, the Holy Bible, scriptures preserved from Genesis to Revelation, preserved for your well-being, preserved for your salvation, preserved for your eternal life. Take this word and devour it. Love it. Spend time in it. Grow in it. Oh, oh, there's so much in here. Through him we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name among whom you also are called of Jesus Christ. This is printed in this eternal word. It never disappears. It stays around. It is the, the most published book in the world. It has survived uh, unnameable uh, attacks against it. It is still here today. It is filled with the revelation life that you need today. Come now and receive this life. Put your trust in God, in Him alone, Yeshua, the Son of God. Receive Holy Spirit. Oh, hear His voice. Don't harden your hearts. It says, today, if you will hear His voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. Do not rebel. We bind that spirit of rebellion in the earth today, in America. We bind that spirit of witchcraft and cast it out in the name of Jesus. We cut it off. Cast it out in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit of truth, come. Oh, Holy Spirit of truth, come. Holy Spirit of truth, We have victory. We have victory in Jesus Christ alone. Savior God, you are the awesome revelator. You're the joy of my life. I dance before you. I twirl in your spirit. I lift up a banner in your name. It's your banner over me is love. Your banner over me is peace. Your banner over me is joy, everlasting life. Flow mightily today. formed against you shall prosper all those who rise against you shall fall in the name of Yeshua. Peace. <laughs>